Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical expression. Square root of 23 times 25 times 27 times 29 plus 16. We will solve it by two methods. So, let's start with the method 1. This expression can be written as a square root of 23 times uh, this uh, 25 can be written as uh, 23 plus uh, 2 times uh, this uh, 27 can be written as uh, 23 plus 4 times uh, this uh, 29 can be written as uh, 23 plus 6 plus uh, this 16. Now we suppose that uh, x is equal to 23. So, this expression will become square root of x times x plus 2 times x plus 4 times x plus 6 plus 16. Next, square root of we combine these two terms uh, x and uh, x plus 6 uh, and we combine these two terms uh, x plus 2 and x plus 4. So, this will become x times uh, x plus uh, 6 times uh, x plus 2 times uh, x plus 4 plus 16. Next, square root of we multiply these two terms, so x times x will become x squared plus uh, x times 6 will become 6x times uh, we multiply these two terms, uh, x times x will become x squared and x times 4 will become plus uh, 4x, 2 times x will become plus 2x and uh, 2 times 4 will become plus 8 plus uh, this 16. Next, square root of x squared plus uh, 6 times x times uh, x squared plus uh, this uh, 4x plus 2x will become 6x plus 8 plus uh, this 16. We suppose that uh, x squared plus uh, 6 times x is equal to t. So, this expression will become square root of t times uh, t plus uh, 8 plus 16. Next, square root of this uh, t times t become t squared and t times plus 8 will become plus uh, 8 times t plus this 16. Next, square root of t squared. This uh, 16 can be written as uh, plus uh, 4 squared plus uh, this uh, 8 times t can be written as uh, 2 times t times 4. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus 2ab uh, plus uh, b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. This expression will become square root of t plus uh, 4 whole squared. Now, this square will be considered with this uh, square root and we are left with uh, t plus 4. Now, we recall that we recall that x squared plus uh, 6x is equal to t. We recall that uh, x squared plus uh, 6 times x is equal to t. So, this will become x squared plus uh, 6 times x plus 4. We recall that 
we recall that x is equal to 23 we recall that x is equal to 23 so we replace every x with 23 this will become 23 squared plus 6 times 23 plus 4 next this 23 whole squared can be written as 20 plus 3 whole squared plus this 6 times 23 can be written as 6 times 20 plus 3 plus this 4 now by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared this 20 plus 3 whole squared will become 20 squared plus 2 times 20 times 3 plus 3 squared plus this 6 times 20 will become 120 and 6 times 3 will become plus 18 plus this 4 next this 20 squared is 400 plus 2 times 20 40 40 times 3 120 plus this 3 squared will become 9 plus this 120 plus 18 is 130 plus 4 142 142 next this 400 plus 120 plus 9 plus 142 will become 671 this is the final answer of this problem now let's solve this problem by method 2 the average of these four numbers 23 plus 25 plus 27 plus 29 is equal to 104 over 4 and this is equal to 26 so the average of these four numbers is 26 we write this expression as a square root of we write this 23 as 26 minus 3 times we write this 25 as 20 6 minus 1 times uh, we write this 27 as uh, 26 plus 1 and we write this 29 as uh, 26 plus uh, 3 plus this 16 and we suppose that uh, x is equal to 26 so this expression will become square root of x minus 3 times x minus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 3 plus 16 next square root of we combine these two terms x minus 3 and x plus 3 like this x minus 3 times x plus uh, 3 and we combine these two terms uh, x minus 1 and uh, x plus 1 x minus 1 times uh, x plus 1 plus uh, 16 now by using this algebraic identity a minus b times uh, a plus b is equal to a squared minus b square this will become square root of this uh, x minus 3 times uh, x plus 3 will become x squared minus 3 squared times uh, this uh, x minus 1 times x plus 1 will become x squared minus 1 squared plus uh, 16 and this is equal to square root of this will become 
x squared minus 9 times x squared minus 1 plus 16 x square root of now this x squared times x squared will become x to the power 4 and x squared times negative 1 negative x squared negative 9 times x squared negative 9 x squared and negative 9 times negative 1 will become plus 9 plus this 16 next square root of x to the power 4 this is negative x squared minus 9 x squared will become negative 10 x squared and this uh, 9 plus 16 will become plus uh, 25 next square root of this uh, x to the power 4 can be written as uh, x squared whole squared and this uh, plus 25 can be written as uh, plus uh, 5 squared and this negative 10 x squared can be written as uh, negative 2 times x squared times 5 and by using this algebraic identity a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared this expression will become square root of x squared minus 5 whole squared Now this uh, square will be considered with this uh, square root and we are left with uh, x squared minus 5 and we recall that uh, we recall that uh, x is equal to 26. So this will become 26 squared minus 5. Now this uh, 26 can be written as uh, 20 plus uh, 6 whole squared minus 5 this is equal to 20 squared plus uh, 2 times uh, 20 times 6 plus uh, 6 squared minus 5 next this uh, 20 squared is uh, 400 and uh, 2 times uh, 20 times 6 will become plus uh, 240 plus this uh, 6 squared will become 36 minus 5 next uh, 400 plus uh, 240 will become uh, 640 and 640 plus 36 will become 676 minus 5 and this is equal to 671 so from the second method we get the same solution as we get by using method 1 this is the final answer